Good morning, folks. First things first, high five magnitude at Easter Island often signals the uptick shift to the South and Central American regions from the West Pacific. If you make the science news rounds this morning, you're likely to see the Ibex and Magnetic Ribbon article. It's been a long-term topic here, covered many times. This one is merely confirmation of the hypothesized conclusions regarding interstellar field orientation and a few new notes about cosmic rays being stronger on the tail end versus our heliospheric direction. RSOE showing another volcano eruption in Indonesia. As bad as Merapi and Sinabung have been, this is the largest evacuation so far as rocks were blasted 50 kilometers away and the ash is falling. South America continues the isolated weather extremes today. Gotta be on your toes locally there. Coming out to the South Indian Ocean where Fobani is chugging along somewhat benignly, it's only because there's no people under it and it's not likely to change soon. Technically, this is still the low that rocked the northwest coast, but now a remnant heading southeast. Still going to have isolated showers, hopefully in the drought zone. Current low at Europe is another beast. Again, it's the strongest northern system. The leading convergence appears to be at Ireland at this time and will move inward to follow. The good news is that the second low behind her is blocking the coldest air. Lucky you. Folks, we've had two straight days of record-breaking weather. Snow, sleet, ice, and cold. Dozens of those records fell, not just in the east, but the southeast and up the valley as well. While that happened, let me put on my Climate Extremes hat to remind everyone about the record heat we saw in Utah. Like that. The better story out west, of course, is the coupled system still matching to reinforce in the middle and drive that moisture at the coastline. It's missing half the drought zone further south, but let's see how our prediction of drought mitigation came through further north. We began here. The pressure systems matched and changed the precipitation situation. Watch Northern California. Folks, that's just seven days after the pressure systems match that we located. Seven days to put a significant dent in what has taken weeks and months to develop. They are still struggling to the south. But speaking of precipitation, it's been a while and I somehow managed to miss the new USA and Canada interactive rain and snow total tool. I've got it linked for you below the video. Gamma signature yesterday coming from way, way south in the sky. The solar wind is eagerly awaiting the first CME impact. We expect at least two today. The smooth calm here will reveal the shock, and auroras are almost guaranteed after that impact occurs. Solar flaring having a bit of a struggle to go harder. Let's take a look at the active regions, going right to left. The departing group still looks best. Beta Gamma Delta with the power penumbra at the back where those colors are most deep. The central region almost should be split into two benign beta spots. Meanwhile, the incomer appears to show the continued attempt to mix magnetically at the lead umbra, but thus far we've had no flaring. Earth's magnetic connection to the sun is on the departing limb. Eruptions from departing spots today may spark polar radiation. The next corona hole is heading in up north, positive in green. Fields are opening as the STO in 211 angstroms lets it show very well. Two quick notes. First, climate number four is on the website homepage if you missed it. And second, got some good constructive criticism about my solar lingo. I've gotten so used to the topic that I just say solar shutdown or solar magnetic shutdown. And newcomers might think I'm one of those doom idiots raving about the end of the world. If you're new here, or you just want a little primer on what I mean when I say the sun is shutting down, this is a brief review posted as an SO Notes program under Fly on the Wall. All SO Notes programs are free for everyone, and relevant as the solar shutdown is, it's not doom. We survived this same thing just 400 years ago. A couple filaments were watching, departing and incoming. Current conditions and shots of our star to close. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.45 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.